I really think that we've opened up the young girl's eyes to STEM careers uh, and really address that in the fundamental elementary school and middle school education of these girls to see that anything is possible. There is no such thing as a gender specific career anymore. I am responsible for the design and development of our products. So our products are regulated by the FDA and other notified bodies, uh, which means we have specific rules and regulations that we have to follow when we design and develop those. And that is all the responsibility of my team. So when I was doing my research for my PhD, I knew that what I was doing was interesting and was going to have applicability in 10 or 15 years. I knew that medical device combination products and really that overall biopharmaceutical industry was a great place for me to be because I could use my engineering skills and background and I could apply it to products, process and pharmaceuticals that are going to have an immediate impact on patients. Well, I'd start off by saying we've come a long way. When I look back at the pictures of myself in my engineering class at Brown University, there were very few women in that class. Uh, when I went to Duke and started my PhD, there were a lot more women there, but still not, nowhere near a 50% margin. So I, I like to see the number of women choosing STEM careers. So as a woman in a leadership position, you know, my advice to, to younger women is find out the passion that drives you and build upon that. So learn your own development style, learn your own leadership style and decide what makes you happy. When you can find that in your job, all of the technical parts are going to come along with it and you'll be able to really build upon that passion and grow into a leadership position. There, of course, you have to be technically strong if you want to be anything on the technical side in the biopharmaceutical space. I think that goes without saying. But for me, it really does come down to what I call intellectual curiosity. When they encounter something new or novel, do they want to go learn about it? Can they go find those experts or the books or the research and go learn about it? I had the privilege of being asked to lead a team that was working to bring a recalled product back to market. So this product was uh, highly important to the industry. And so it was important for the patient as well as for the company to get the product back on the market. We had a very aggressive timeline to do so. Our goal was 12 months to full approval. We did it in about 15 months to a fully approved device that was back on the market. I love to read. I was that kid in elementary and middle school who had to be told, put down your book while you eat breakfast. I would prop it up behind the cereal bowl so that I could keep reading while I was eating breakfast. So I've always loved to read. So right now I'm reading The Wright Brothers by David McCullough. Um, I'm also reading the latest in the Diana Gabaldon series. I have three young kids, um, five, three, and almost one. So my weekends are theirs right now. Fortunately, my kids love to read and will often just run over and say, can you read me a book? And we'll sit down on the floor and read. Um, but we have spent a lot of time outside when we have some snow sledding in the hills around our house, exploring. We have a lot of trails and outdoor space. So we like to get outside when we can. It's great to, to get that fresh air. I have a wonderful husband who is an equal partner in this marriage and in this child raising. I think that has also led to more women being successful in STEM is that the family dynamic has changed. So on any given day, do I feel like I can have it all? No, absolutely not. I'm probably sure that I am failing at something on any given day, but overall, yes, it's about priorities and you decide what's important to you. Can you have it all? Sure. On any given day? No, absolutely not. And that's okay, uh, because I think men feel like that too. We maybe just don't ask them about it quite as much. Women in engineering, women in STEM positions, is something that is very important to me. I've spent my career in it and I love to be able to speak more about it. So thanks for the opportunity.